Okay, so this is for the um, September issue of Image Magazine. It's their main fashion editorial. Um, we are focusing on embellishment. It's a big story for next season. And uh, our main kind of key starting point was um, jewellery and very contemporary looking statement pieces of jewellery, um, which we have pulled in from all over the place. Some Irish designers, some uh, more international. And um, our palette is very opulent, so lots of kind of forest greens, burgundies, golds, very autumnal, and that feeling just bringing it back down to darker kind of palette for winter. And um, we're shooting in a beautiful antique warehouse, um, so we have tons of props on board to play with, um, and Caroline Reynolds has been great and is doing loads of prop work for us, so making it all come together. Uh, well, today's hair for the September issue, I'm keeping it very soft and natural looking. Mind you, when you look at it, you'd think, you know, it's going to be quite easy to do, but sometimes natural hair is the most difficult thing to do. I uh, prepped it by just blow drying the hair out because she has quite a natural kind of curly hair. And then afterwards, what I did was just barrel kind of messy tongued it and then broke all the texture and kept it in the middle parting. It's really simple. So basically the main feature of the look is the eyebrow. So we've kind of drawn in the brow to make it look thicker and heavier and then just kept everything else really simple. So we've put sheen just on the cheekbones, we've put it on the cupid's bow and just on the nose. So basically it gives you that kind of chiselled look. On the lips what we wanted to look like was more a natural lip colour. So we've kept it very kind of like a stained lip and like you basically just press the colour on yourself. And then what we've done with the eyes is we've just put on like beautiful kind of jewel browns and golds like to bring in all those kind of autumn colours. And what I've done then is just finished off by curling the lashes and we didn't even use mascara because I think it would have made the look a little bit too glamorous and that's not we want what we wanted to do. Then what I did was actually use a lipstick for blusher because you get that really nice creamy texture rather than adding powder so it kind of adds the fact that we didn't use any foundation or powder on the skin and we've just kind of worked a little bit of lipstick into the cheeks just to give it that kind of wind burnt look. 